is up everybody welcome back to a brand new video now you're probably surprised that I'm uploading because it's been such a long time since I last uploaded it's been quite a few months now since I've came back um, but there's just been a lot of things that have been happening in my personal life so I guess I just need a break I'm sorry I never made a YouTube video um, to say I was going to be away for a while but I'm finally back and as you guys can see I'm in my brand new car which is a Mini Cooper S and I thought I'd show you guys a little bit about it and just give you guys a quick update on my life as well. So I actually got this Mini Cooper about yesterday at like half 10 in the morning, uh, really early and it's a pretty decent car. I did have a Vauxhall Corsa before but I don't know if I made a video on that or not. Um, but I'm going to be doing a couple of bits and bobs to this and making a couple of videos on the things I'm going to be doing to it. So hopefully you guys enjoy those videos. I've got a couple of ideas coming up as well. Um, we'll still be exploring more abandoned places, so don't worry about that. There's just been a lot of personal stuff that's been going on in my life right now, so I've just not had the time to make a video. Uh, I guess there's a lot of people out there who do make YouTube videos and it gets too much for them and, you know, they do need a break. I've seen so many YouTubers that have had to take a break and everything like that. But anyways, guys, let's get right into the video and let's show you guys around. So I thought I'd just show you guys the interior first, so... This is it here, um, I've got my little stand for my phone and everything and we've got the speedometer in the middle, I'm sure that's very weird for most drivers since it's usually here and then I've got my RPM here as well which is snazzy. I've also got these little things, so these are for the lights, in case you guys haven't ever had a Mini Cooper in your life, I just thought I'd show you the buttons and everything as well. So yeah, these are the lights, the indicators. The only thing I really don't like about this car is when you're indicating, it comes up with um, the indicators with uh, both arrows facing each direction. So it's kind of like your indicators are on, so it would be, if you were to indicate, it would basically look like that, um, if it was left or right, but yeah, it's very weird. Um, also, we've got around here as well, nice and clean and all ready to go. Um, I'm probably going to do a couple of things to the car, I'll probably change these colours and everything but we'll leave that for another video. So now that you guys have seen the inside of the car, let's have a look outside and I'll show you guys the outside of the car. So as you guys can see, um, <laughs> it's a little bit dirty so it's going to need a good clean. But we've got a little sunroof as well which is quite smart. And this is a Mini Cooper S, it's a 2002 so it is a pretty really old car. But it's been well looked after, it's had 11 owners as well, so yeah, that's quite a lot of people in the space of 10 years. Um, you can still see that there's, this has been de but this bit's starting to rub off and everything as you can see. So I'm going to definitely get that sorted out and get it all black again and it'll be looking nice and brand new. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed already, around the back here there was a wee bit of rust, so I've actually protected this with some tape and yeah. But other than that, it's still a decent little motor. It's also got dynamic custom exhausts as well. And it's also got an Alta induction kit with a supercharger in it. So for without further ado, I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you guys the engine. It's quite funny because usually when you're opening the bonnet, it's usually on the passenger side, but luckily it's on the driver's side. So that's quite decent. So let's have a look guys. So, what I've got here is a nice 1.6 engine. It's also got an Alta engine, a supercharger, and yeah, that's pretty much the only stuff that's been done to it at the moment. Um, I'm not entirely sure what else I'll be doing. I'll try and figure out a couple of ideas, but you guys can see here, it's a nice little engine, and yeah, pretty decent. So now I'm going to start up the engine and I'm just going to show you guys how nice this really sounds. So let's get to it. Very looking nice. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed already, but I'm going to need an induction kit because this is starting to rub off. So, yeah, it looks pretty old and dusty, but definitely going to get a new one soon. Okay, so let's have another look and go around the back. And here's the bad boy exhausts. Very 
very nice. <laughs> so that is the new Mini Cooper S 2002. Nice little car, nice to be run about. It's really cheap to insure as well. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to cut this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so you know when I'm uploaded as well. And without further ado, guys, take it easy, have a good day, and see you later.